welcome back to part two. So if you have completed your second insert, your second signature, you should have one more row left. The reason I decided to do this one in the second part is because this one is going to be done very differently. So you're going to take your last and final signature and you are going to line it up like we would on the final row and you are going to go through the holes again in the middle through all three of them okay you're going to come up and remember you're either tying a knot or you're leaving some um, thread left out and then what you're going to do now is you're going to take this and you're going to go through you're going to go through the little two loops here and then this loop that you created here you're gonna go just go back through it okay just go back through it and you're going to pull 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 sorry sorry pull 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 and it's going to create that little little binding that you see right there okay so you pull it as tight as you want it and then what we're going to do now is we're going to go back in through hole number four. So just make sure you have everything lined up. And again, you may not be able to see mines, but I got to make sure I see it. Okay. So you're just going to go back in through hole number four. Okay. After you do that, if you need to rewind it and see it again, do so. Okay then you're going to do the same thing you're going to go out through hole number five okay come out through hole number five and then you're going to go under again and then just go back it's just creating a little loop you just go back through the loop just go through the little loop and again you'll create another one okay and then you're going to go back in through hole number four all right so then now you're going to come back in and you're going to actually go through hole number three this time you're gonna go through hole number three come out of hole number three and then you're gonna go under these two again and make our little, go through the little loop that we're creating and pull. See that? So we're going in through number two and then you are going to go down to hole number one. Come through hole number one. You're gonna go under the loops Go back through a little loop we're creating pull and then go back through hole number two and then now I think I'm not sure it looks right to me but then now what I'm going to do is tie a knot because I don't want to go back through this hole so I'm just going to stop here and I am going to tie a knot. So I think that might be right. I might be wrong, but it works for me. And now my string is a little too short. So anyways, you tie yourself. I'm pretty sure you probably have to go through another hole, but I think if you go through a hole again, you're going to have to come out come out through here I don't know but I'm not gonna do that so I'm just gonna tie a knot here so just make sure you have enough string hanging to make your knot and mine is a little short and my fingers you guys know I have large fingers so I'm gonna do my best hold it down and get my little knot and there we go and I am just going to trim 
this off and now this is just another piece I need to trim now you guys know you can add charms and beads and things to this um, to these strings if you keep them long so now we have all three sewn together or bind it together and there, here is your first one your second one and your third one and if we take a look at the instructions pretty much looks almost like it if you don't want it as tight as mine you just don't pull as tight um, I did pull really tight but um, you can also use ribbon but you have to use like a thin width ribbon um, something that can get through those holes so then now you have lots of <laughs> Um, dies for embellishments you have a pocket die here you have tickets tabs this is a little envelope there's another tab here you have some more tags a bookmark medallions and then some banners so you just need to cut 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 all of that out in different shades of papers and things and you decorate what you can also do is take um, cut another one of these spines that we used spine cover here and you can trim off this side and this side you'll have this middle piece and then you can use these as decorative layers and you can either save this or get rid of that so I have lots of pieces that I've already cut out I'm going to decorate and I'll be back
finished product. This is my Anna Griffin Ribbon Binding Journal, as you can see here. And then we have this beautiful holiday themed um, journal. Um, I used most of these embellishments came from Christmas Happy Christmas box of this year 2021. This is from her super uh, holiday sentiment stickers. These are the glitter holly stickers and we have some of her ribbon and then I added some stones and then this is her paper the um, the my cover was made from the paper crafting for all. And then here we have more of these embellishments. Sorry if you hear my family taking showers. And then you have here that corner pocket that I cut out in some cardstock. You saw me at the little um, thingy there, pipette, whatever you call it, pipe cleaner. Here are the tabs. So you have your pages where you can journal. Um, also from the Christmas box. I did use card toppers to add here and I added just you know left pages blank obviously for pictures for journaling etc and I put the green one here the pipe cleaner added some little juice to the tree here and like I said most of these are from the Christmas box 2020 um, embellishments that came with the kit and stickers with the Christmas box this is actually from um, Fantastic Flips, Christmas Fantastic Flips. Here is that little envelope die that come with the kit. Again, this is the Holiday Sentiments. This is Anna's Christmas um, wreath sticker. And then obviously you have your pages here. And then towards the back, I used the gold little pipe cleaner. More stickers. And then Anna did include a bookmark die here. And I added some holiday color twine to it and the pocket and then you got your pages just more pages for pictures for journaling for writing here is that spine cover that I just trimmed off and another um, what is this card topper Christmas card topper in the Christmas box and then getting to the last few pages and then back here the same thing and our journal is complete so if you somehow came across this video this is part two there is a part one so i will leave that in the description box and i wanted to show you guys the journal that i made at create seven which is here and as you can see we actually added three colors um three layers of the spine cover we did the binding here and then um, similar to what I just showed you, I wrote Create 7 November 2021 there. So the Create 7. And we pretty much decorated um, the signature front and back, uh, signature back and front covers. So again, mine's may look a little different from others that you've seen. I tried to keep the same papers and themes as the class, but Sometimes I just like to do things a little different. Here's that medallion. And here are some of the tags. And this, these are the little tickets. That's that little envelope. And yep, super fun. I'm so glad Anna came out with this. And if you guys don't know, last year at Create Six, she did a um, mini album. So this is like part two, which they say it's a junk journal but we know nothing of Anna's is junk and I know it's just for fun you know we pretty much stuff it with lots of things and yeah but so I hope this video helped you guys um, remember there is a part one I'll leave that description that link in the description box thank you so much for joining me I'll see you guys bye